you think I'm pretty no, sad? No, and that's one of, the, one of the things that uh, Scotty White does. Is he's constantly cross-training. So when you see people in different positions, I wouldn't read anything into it because, uh, you know, Josh Woods, is sometimes he's playing the Sam, sometimes he's playing the Mike, sometimes he's playing the Will, and it's hard to learn. But in that situation, Scotty's always trying to get him ready for the bad situation that may occur if he has to play. So I wouldn't read a whole lot into where they're playing because he does mix and match them. Mm. And, and whether we're in a certain personnel group on defense, whether we're nickel, dime, whatever we're in, they're always cross-training. It, it seemed like today a lot of the coaches were on edge, not just the defensive coaches. KP got into the running backs a little bit. Was this kind of a day when the coaches said we're going to turn the corner? No, off we, we, didn't, we didn't plot that. <laughs> that smart, no. no, we didn't plot that. But is there ever a day when you say this is going to be a more intense day? Because yesterday was I, I think we're, we're with this group and staff, we're always intense coming out of getting going. I think we want to try to get it where the players take take charge of it. Okay? And not, that was Coach Moore's point at the end of practice, that the players step up. You know, it's, it's their team. We're, we're just here to make them as good as they want to be. But it's their football team, and he's looking for guys to step up in those situations because that's that's what you need. You know, that's exactly what you need. You need that guy that says, hey. And when you're really good, I'm going to tell you, one of the kids will come over and say, hey, hey, Coach, I got it. I got it. And then you just step back and look at it. trying to do it. Has anyone come up to you and said, said that yet? Not yet, not yet. But you know, it's early yet. We're developing and we're, we're moving through. And then I, one of the things when you do, there's a lot of different things that are going in. A lot of different uh, their minds are spinning. As they get comfortable, they're going to play faster. They're going to be comfortable. And then from that point, you can take it to the next step. Have you seen Eddie's return make a difference in, in the, the run run game defense? Yeah. It, it, if you watch Eddie. Every day, you can see he's starting to get his hands and his legs back. It's been a little foreign to him early, Ben, as you know, because he was just he had been off for a whole year. And uh, and I know we're obviously very aware of, of being sensitive to, you know, this is getting him back into the flow. But every day, you can see him start to do some things. His hands are coming back, his feet. He starts to feel comfortable. And when we do, when we get Eddie where we, we need to get him. That'll give us an opportunity to, to maybe give him a breather here and there to keep him fresh. How about Fabian? Uh, what have you seen from him? I think, you know, Fabian uh, is invaluable to this football team, not only as a player, and I've said this, he's an excellent leader, not a good leader, an excellent leader, uh, really has a handle of what's going on, understands what has to be done, and that that part, that, that's invaluable to the football team. Any update on when you expect Dion back? No, I, you know, that's strictly, any anytime you get into those, those things, you stay out of it. That's up to the doctors, when they tell us, when they clear them, we're good to go. And, that's obviously a very sensitive issue when you have a, you know that, and that's when, we, when he gets back, he gets back, and uh, you know, we just have to adjust accordingly. Thanks, coach. Thank you very Thanks, much. Coach.